Hello, here we are at lunchtime. I'm going to talk to you about something really meaningful today. I want to talk to you about a very unique subject, and it's this. Why am I in this situation? Why is this happening? You know, sometimes Christians are taught not to ask questions. But if you do not know why something is happening, then the whole thing could just be meaningless. You might not learn anything. I mean, my gosh, if you don't know why the car crashed into the wall, when you step down the brakes, you might want to know why. It might have been that your brakes were bad. If you would like to tap into all of our resources, and they're free, you can go to mfhlb.com. That's mfhlb.com. And you can go there and you can, uh, you know, uh, have access to one of our resources. And we can develop our relationship even deeper. But most important, develop your relationship with Jesus deeper. Okay? So, we're going to let the Word of God talk to us. We're going to let God talk to us. And you're going to get the answer of why you're where you're at and what is happening through this whole deal in the whole planet. You know what's going on? Okay. We're going to go to the Bible. And it's uh, Hosea. My name is Hosea, you know. It's Hosea 2, 14 through 16. That's Hosea chapter 2, verse 14 through 16. But we're just going to be talking. Okay? So, as you are listening, it's you, me, and God. And we're having lunch together. Okay? We're on the table. You'll see my wife on her phone well. She's answering and talking to people and so forth that are watching. And she'll be in, she's inviting people to her watch party. <laughs> yes. um, if you would like to uh, donate if you'd like to donate to us, go to mfhlb.com and you'll see a donation button there. Mm -hmm. uh, also, they, also, yeah, also you can go on Facebook on my father's house, Las Vegas Facebook, and you'll see a button that says shop now. And you press it and it goes straight to the donations. So you can donate to my father's house church because we're doing a work for Jesus. Praise God. All right. Listen to this. Mm -hmm. Therefore, behold, I will allure her. He is talking to his people as a whole. And he's addressing his people or the church or Israel. God, a lot of times, uses symbolism to address groups. Therefore, I will allure her and bring her into the wilderness. Doesn't sound good, does it? Sometimes we feel like we're in a wilderness. But what if God has taken you to a wilderness? Because that's where the gold mine is.
Therefore, behold, I will allure her and bring her into the wilderness and speak comfortably unto her. He's brought you here so he can speak to you comfortably. He is using the situations for our ears to really want an answer to everything around us. The answer is the most important thing, not the wilderness. Don't focus on the wilderness. Focus on who is with you in the wilderness. Listen to this. Next verse. And I will give her vineyards from thence. What? It's a wilderness. What do you mean a vineyard? What do you mean a place that fruit grows in, in wonderful uh, vegetables? What do you mean? You brought me out to a wilderness. You allured me. Are you ready for your garden in the wilderness? That's why you're here. That's why the whole world is in the situation that they're in. God is trying to bring us to a garden. See, this has to be a supernatural vineyard garden because it's in the wilderness. You know, we're broadcasting from Las Vegas. You know what the word Las Vegas means? And we're in the desert? You know what it means? Do you know what it means, Anne? It's an awesome word. <laughs> Awesome word. It is an oasis. Oh, oasis. Yes. Do you know that Las Vegas was started? I'm talking the way, 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 way beginning. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the gangster beginning. Where there was an oasis in this valley, this wilderness, this desert. And in that oasis, Las Vegas grew. Wow. Glory to God. <laughs> We're in the oasis. Hallelujah. <laughs> and it will give her her vineyard, vineyards from this. Not one, many, and it belongs to you. Hers. And the valley of Accor, am I pronouncing that right? Accor. Accor. For Adora Hope. What? You know what the word Akor means? It is, it, it is, it, it means trouble, disturbance. <laughs> In this wilderness, this was an actual place that he took them to, uh -huh. was a place called trouble and disturbance. Why? At sure. The Valley of Trouble. It was literally called the Valley of Trouble. The whole world is in the Valley of Trouble. I know. <laughs> the whole world is in the Valley of Trouble. The Word of God says that whatever can be shaken shall be shaken, that the things that's are in, that are planted in Him may remain. Wow. But he's going to bless you in the valley of trouble. He's going to give you vineyards in the valley of trouble. He will get all the glory. And you will walk away with something that is more precious than gold. And you know what that is? You will know that God is with you. Yes. And that God has cared for you. And that God, God has given you vineyards. In the valley of trouble. That's, awesome. That's why that valley's named that. And the valley of Asher for Adora Hope. It'll become Adora Hope. You're in a place where there is a door of hope. Mm -hmm. Hope. Watch our other mm -hmm. 
lunches before this one, and you'll understand deeper. God loves you so much, he is going to show you that he's brought you to a place of trouble. Mm -hmm. And only he can give a door of hope mm -hmm. and a vineyard there. That's why we're all in this situation. Hmm. The word hope there means, are you ready? Hope. The ground of hope. Isn't that interesting? There's many, many words in the original language for the word hope. In English, you only have one. But this particular word that is used there means the ground of hope. Mm -hmm. The wilderness is your ground of hope. In the ground of wilderness, the door of hope will open up and you will get vineyards. Yes. Hope in the Lord. The Bible says that hope maketh not ashamed. This is powerful. And she shall sing there. Sing in the place of trouble, in the place of disturbance, mm -hmm. because God has made it a place of hope, a place where you get vineyards. You know what the word sing there means? This is powerful. Are you ready? <laughs> it means, and she shall sing there. As in the days of our youth. Remember when you were a little kid and you were just happy? <laughs> singing joyfully? Just because you were alive. I like this little native Indian song, uh, American Indian song. song. It, I used to listen to it as a little boy and it would make me happy. When I first came to America, I was eight years old. And the song went, when Enate Yahe, O Juanito, that was the little Indian boy's name, O Juanito, isn't it good to be alive? Oh, it is such a happy day for a young little brave. O Juanito, O Juanito, isn't it good to be alive? It is such a happy be day for a little brave for <laughs> I don't know if I had the right pronunciation on the Indian language part there. But it, it was a wonderful little song. You can have that. Yes. You can have that. But listen to this. As in the days of what? When she came out of the land of Egypt, how many Egypts have you come out of? How many situations were you supposed to have been destroyed? Mm -hmm. Not have made it this far. But here you are. Why? Because you've got the right stuff in you. The word and she shall sing there means this. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. To answer. You're going to answer back to what we just read. That God said to them. Listen to this. To answer. To respond. As a witness. Mm -hmm. You're going to be the witness. In the middle of the desert. A wilderness. A place of trouble. And what are you going to witness? Are you ready? You're going to witness that there's a door of hope that you have walked through, that you have vineyards, that God brought you here to bless you. To answer, to respond as a witness. See, you're responding back to God. To shout, that means that you are witnessing. Oh, this is a miracle. No. Loud. To sing, you are a witness that gets understand and sings the testimony out loud. <laughs> to utter, tunefully. See, you're singing the testimony. Can you imagine? Raise your right hand. Do you smell the truth? To tell the truth, the absolute truth. And nothing but the truth will help you, God. Yes, I 
shall be at that day, says the Lord, that thou shalt call me what? I see. You know what that means? Champion. Great man. You know what your name is going to change to today? You know what you're going to call God in your heart? You're going to say my champion. My great champion. That's who we're having lunch with today. The great champion. It makes no difference to him. What the natural might say. And we testify and we answer back. This is my place of hope. This is my place where I get my vineyard. Because my champion has done this. How is that? How is that? For man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds. I speak hope yes. into your wilderness yes. now. Vineyards! May you be close and close, and may you call him my champion, King Jesus. The Father gave you a champion in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. If you want to look at some more of our resources and speak into areas of your life that will build up, build you up, go to mfhlv.com. Yes, I'm trying to get you to go there. Duh. <laughs> it is a privilege to serve God, to help people. It's what I do. It's what I'm called to do, to help you. Do you have anything to say, baby? Yes. I'm going to sing a song to you. You are in Sing the to him right now. Call him your champion. But he is my champion. I call upon yes. my champion. champion. I'll sing of champion. your testimonies. I'll sing in the wilderness. Because you are my champion. And you are their champion of hope. To be. <laughs> on Sundays we're going to start ministering the Lord gave us a word a while back and it was this I want this place, this ministry to be a hero factory you're going to be a hero the world is looking for hero and heroettes Come to the Hero Factory when you come to have lunch with us. When you tune in on Sundays, 10 a.m. Las Vegas time on Sundays. On Wednesdays, 6.30 Las Vegas time. God bless you. God bless you. And may the spirit of power and of peace possess you, my friend, in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. We love you, Jesus. God bless you, God bless you. champions. <laughs>